Hi friends, it's Shilpa here with another video for the Wild Bunch, the YouTube design team for Wild Orchid Crafts. And today I'd like to share with you guys another altered dress form um, that I did for a very special friend. And I absolutely love it and I just don't know how I'm going to part with it. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I have done with my dress form. So it's re she's really big so I'm just trying to see what the best angle to show you guys this is it. This is my beautiful altered vintage dress form. And as I said, it is going to a very special friend. And it's just so, so stunning. She's really tall. She's about 14 inches um, tall. And I've just completely um, embellished her with all the wild ochre craft flowers and things that you can see, which I will go through in a minute. I'm just going to put something in the back here so it'd be easy for me to show you guys um, what I've done. So here she is, as you can see I've got some doilies going on and I'll show you the bottom first. What I've done, I've just taken um, some of this beautiful white bridal um, tool and it's a really stiff one so it just gives it more um, dimension. So I've gone around with that, I stitched it in some places as well as gluing it as I've gone. Then um, just a thin layer of this fabric that Trisha sent me, so I've just gone in that in beautiful cream. And then this huge piece is actually one um, large vintage circle doily and it does go all the way around as you can see and um, I've just took the centre part out and just pulled it down and created this beautiful skirt and um, then on above that one I've put this uh, beautiful um, doily this is again in like a really pale pink colour really really pretty and it matches all the embellishments and here's some wild ochre craft um, goopy lace and then there's more here around the body to give you a closer look and around the waist I've gone over I've gone round in some um, flat back pearls from wild ochre craft some pink pearl trimming and also some vintage jewellery and I've done the same here this is a piece of vintage jewellery that's broken and I've just stuck it down around this beautiful rose so um, the things that I've used, the embellishments and the flowers, the flowers um, that I've used on this one are from this pack and I love this shade, it's a pale pink and these are the open roses in the 25mm and the code for that is FM-00226 and with this one I've actually just gone round the top where the doily is so I've got just a few going all the way around like here and then around there and then around the back as well so it just looks really pretty and then to kind of match them I've used this pack which is the two-tone pink with a baby pink centre open rose and um, these are the 15 millimeter ones and the code for this one is FM-00045 and they do look really pretty together this one is slightly darker so it just does complement it and you can see the contrast between the flowers and then I've gone with this one all the way around the bottom of the skirt where the doily has some flowers so I've just put it in the centre of those and then what I've done to create this bit on the top here this feathered um, bit on the top I've used this pretty lace and this one is the um, Ivory Goopy Lace, LA-00050, and I absolutely love this. I'll get it out and show you guys. So, um, it's really, really pretty, and I just love creating little skirts and dress forms with this one. And I did one on my last um, tutorial, I think it was. So, really, really pretty lace to have. And then the other lace that I've used is on top here, where the body is. And I've just stuck it down really nice and firmly with the collar glue. And I've used this one, which is the Cream Lace LA-00027, and it's this one. Again, really, really pretty. You can see all the details in that one. And um, where the design is on the top, I've just gone around the body just to make it look really pretty. And just gives the, the body on the top a little bit more definition, as you can see there. I love it. And the last thing that I've used for the top, um, I didn't want to paint it and just leave it as it was, so I've just added this beautiful rose and this is from this pack here and these are the um, cream rose cabochon embellishments and the code for this one is rez-034 and the very last thing I've used on this um, you can't really see it but underneath where this 
part is I've um, scrunched it up in certain places, stitched it and to cover the stitch I've put these really pretty little flowers and these are from this pack here and these are the 20 white flower embellishments REZ032 is your code and you get this in a pack, really really pretty and I didn't want to just leave it bare with the stitch so I've just gone around here and under here so it's just a completely finished beautiful dress and um, for the rest of the body I've just taken some pearl string from my stash in pink and in this iridescent and I've just looped it where the flowers are so it just gives it a nice beautiful luxurious look I just love the way it looks and I hope my friend likes it and um, for the arms here there was um, where the metal arm is for the jewellery because it was a jewellery holder initially um, I couldn't get I couldn't pull the metal off so because it was pretty dangerous to just have it there I didn't want to put flowers on so I've just taken some centers off a couple of doilies and I've made it um, I've just stuck it on here to make it look like um, like a bolero so it looks really nice and finished and it is safe and <clears throat> over here around the neck I've just gone around in some pearl just um, strung it on some string and added another little flower here with a pearl in the middle of that one so really really adorable I just love it really really do love it so this is another one of my altered dress forms and they just come out so beautiful so I hope you guys like what you see please leave me a comment and um, check out all the links below put the codes for the products I've used below as well so you can check those out put um that's it for now and um, I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye!